Welcome to Tammy's Tiny Tots Reborns. Well, I am here for Tammy Talks Tuesday. And I'm sorry I'm not in the video today. I feel icky. It's, uh, I haven't been feeling very well today. I woke up at 5 in the morning not feeling the greatest. Um, I don't have the virus that's going around because my symptoms are not of that nature. My symptoms are <laughs> caused from... I did it to myself. <laughs> I bought a cheesecake a while back and had it in the freezer and I pulled it out of the freezer and um, I started eating the cheesecake last night and I ate a half of a, a cheesecake and the cheesecake was about that big, little round one, cherry cheesecake, you know it's white cheesecake with the cherry stuff swirled inside of it. So. Yeah, I ate that, I ate a half of that, and um, I am lactose intolerant, so if I go overboard with lac lactose, as I put it uh, to my friend Lori today, I said, I think I OD'd on dairy <laughs> and made myself sick. So I woke up at 5 in the morning with really bad cramps. And as well as really bad cramps, I had, um, I have, you know, the scoots, um, because of the lack, the dairy. So I took a couple gravel and I'm feeling a little better. I'm not feeling as nauseous anymore. Um, but I don't have a cough or a sore throat or anything like that. So we know it's not the virus and look at your messy hair, little man. We know, we know it's not the virus, because, so, anyways, we're going to turn Charlie into this adorable cute outfit. I just love these pants. We got the little line down to make it look like butt on the pants. Her footed pants with a pair of socks inside of them. <laughs> How did we leave socks in this last time you wore it, Harley? And I know it was him that wore it last because he's the only one that wears certain outfits. Because he's the only boy other than Landon. And Landon has separate his own sep completely separate wardrobe. Him and Lexi have everything they own matches. And so everything else is Harley's right now until his brother comes. And his brother is my new baby that I announced I'm reborn pregnant with. And we know he's a boy. And so, yeah, we're reborn pregnant, reborn expecting, whatever you want to call it. And uh, so when his brother arrives, then him and his brother will share clothes because he, they need, they, they can share the same, they will be the same size. So, yeah. And then there'll be a third brother eventually. Just not yet. I'm working, I'm going to be working on third brother at some point for myself. So this is the little jacket that goes with the pants and the pants I'll have all over them if you couldn't really tell there's trees and farm fences and barns and ducks and the word quack all over the pants little ponds there's a, a pond there with some little ducks inside the pond and then the jacket has a little 3d tree on it and then the little duck says quack, and it's got the ducks all in the farmer's field. And then even on the back, there's some trees and some ducks at the back. So yeah, we're going to put that onto him because it's so cute. So cute. He's going to be down on the farm. But So, I had some great news to share on my Tammy Talks Tuesday. So... Uh, seven o'clock this morning I got a message from my daughter Caitlin now Caitlin is the daughter that has the baby that's been in the NICU and was born at 33 weeks gestation so Mr. Atley is her son's name and Atley is going home today Caitlin went and picked him up they're not they weren't quite home last time I talked to her which was about 20 minutes ago, maybe half an hour. So, they're not quite home yet. But Natasha, my oldest daughter, took Caitlin to Aurelia 
to pick him up and bring him home. Yay! At least coming home. At least coming home. Caitlin was having a major meltdown. Major. And that's hilarious because that's my kid's last name is Major. So whenever I say Major, that makes me laugh because anything they do is Major, right? Because they're Majors. Anyways, <laughs> my last name is not Major because I never changed my last name to my to their father's name. And we're divorced, so... We've been divorced now for quite a few years. Anyway, um, yeah, so Atlee is coming home, and it's a major big deal because Caitlin was having, yesterday she's crying to me on the phone because she's she was all worried that what if the hospital goes into lockdown and I'm not there when it goes into lockdown? Then I'll be locked away from from my baby. And she's right. You know, she was totally right on that. She could be locked away from her baby. And that's a scary thing and thought to have, for sure. And I don't blame her for worrying and being upset. Because I would have worried and been upset, too. If it was, you know, my situation. So, this morning, I guess um, they don't want her keeping the... Uh, the car seat at the hospital for you know whenever they decide since she lives a little ways away from the hospital she can't just you know pop home grab the car seat and come back to the hospital um she it's a you know it's a long drive so well not long but half an hour ish drive for her to get there to be with her son so they told she phoned them at seven this morning and I think it was 7.03, I got a message saying he's coming home today. They told me that I could bring him home. And she was so ecstatic that she's bringing Atlee home. And I am so happy that Atlee is going to be home as well. Because she was upset, you know, like, she's like, uh, every day I have to go outside and expose myself to this virus. And she's like, and I don't want to, I'm scared. Uh, every time I get, you know, go out, because she has to, she doesn't have her own car, so she has to drive on a, on a bus that takes her, and she's like, it's awful, mom, she's like, I just don't know what to do, so I told her that I was praying last night, and my last text message to her was, I'm praying, and she said, thank you, mom, love you, good night, and I mess, or then first thing this morning, she messages me and says that he's coming home, so I was ecstatic that my prayers, my prayers were answered last night, and I want to thank all of my, all of you, my Dolly friends, all of you out there that have prayed for Atlee. Um, please keep your prayers going. He's still very tiny. He's still very small, which puts him in much more um, uh, danger, in a sense, for this virus. Um, now she's going to lock herself away with her little boy now and not go out much, which I don't blame her, and that's exactly what I told her to do. So, anyway, that's our exciting news for this week is the fact that baby Atlee is going to be home. All my grandsons are safe and home with their their parents. Um, yeah, Andrew and Haley met, uh, videotaped, um, or not videotaped, that we did a Facebook Live last night. I got to talk to Ezra and... Uh, see him and talk to him for a little bit and um my grandson benjamin jessica sent me some pictures this morning so he's doing fine and they're doing fine and my oldest daughter natasha's doing fine she took caitlin to the hospital to pick up atley and our daughter megan's doing great um she's a little scared of what's going on but uh She's hanging in there, and she's a little scared, but other than that, she's doing great. And our other son, Andrew, because we have two Andrews. One's my biological, and one's my, I wouldn't, I don't, I hate using the word stepson. I absolutely hate calling them my stepkids. Um, I don't know, my chosen kids, because I chose them. <laughs> I, I chose to be their mom. I didn't, you know, it wasn't, they weren't born to me. I don't know what you want to call them, but I hate the word stepchildren. Anyway, um, my son, Andrew's. Younger Andrew, we call one young Andrew, and the other one's just Andrew. So young Andrew's doing good, and uh, we have offered him to, if they call a complete lockdown, we've offered for him to join us here because he's all alone, doesn't have a you know a girlfriend or 
anybody that he shares a place with. So he'd be awful lonely for a bunch of days of being locked up. So yeah. So anyway, that's our wonderful news. And uh, I am going to go and go to bed, I think, and lay down and have another, uh, some more, get some sleep and try and get rid of these terrible gut cramps I've got from eating too much cheesecake. <laughs> cheesecake overdose. Yeah. <laughs> so anyway, our great news is that everyone in our family so far is healthy and baby Atlee is going to be at home instead of in the hospital, which is absolutely amazing. Well, everyone, thank you so, so, so much for your prayers and please keep my grandchildren in your prayers again and and I'm praying for all of you out there to stay safe and stay healthy and and everyone just be there for whoever you can be there for. And uh, smile, everyone. And share a smile with a friend. Bye.